So without a partner, I'm going to show you the movement for the bridge and roll. Basically, the person's in mount here. I need to bump them forward so their hands hit the mat, either with a knee or a bridge. I prefer the knee, all right? I overhook one arm to take that first post away, all right? The second post is gonna be taken away with my leg, all right? I either step over the ankle and bring it back, or I straight leg it. The next thing I do is I make an L with uh, my hand, I put it in the armpit, I bridge up, reach right across, and then get to my knees. I'll do that once more. Here, pump forward, hook, L, trap, either like that or that. Reach up, over, get to your knees. I'm just gonna explain the bridge and roll technique. Um, so from the mount position, the aim for the bridge and roll position is to basically think of our opponent as a tabletop. We're gonna try and fold this arm in, as well as stop this leg on the same side from posting out. So we're gonna trap that leg, and then the person on the bottom is gonna bridge us over. All right? It's really important to know that even if you weren't in the mount or just doing uh, jiu-jitsu things, if you're on top, you need to have posts. All right? You need to be able to move and have posts. So the position is, someone's under mount, they're gonna take two posts away, and you're gonna fold, and they're gonna end up on top.